after seeing this video, I was compelled to make a video reply. And I want to tell you one off the top, I am not a Muslim. I do not study Islam. I have not studied Islam. And what drew me to this video was a picture of Malcolm X. And reading this video and watching it in its simplicity because I know how hard it is to make videos and I know what it goes through to make a video but to pull the feeling that they gave me out of this video there was a lot of strong feelings in this video and regardless if you're a Muslim or not you need to watch this video because there are some lessons taught in this video that transcend all races if we are truly a civilized species then humanity must transcend race humanity must transcend religion basic humanity should be our religion the care for one another and not just ourselves. The fact that I live in a Christian society, you might as well say it, or a Jewish society, but those are the two predominantly large religious groups. And like they pointed out on this video, some things that I've never heard associated with Islam are associated with Christianity based on some other things that I have learned over the past few years about the Vatican and slavery. So, in the overall scheme of what I'm trying to say is this, it's not what we are that will define human existence in the future or throughout time when some other creatures come down here and dig up our bones in some excavation. What defines humanity is if we can respect each other enough to allow each other to live. Period. We don't have to believe in each other to allow, allow, allow each other to live. We don't have to trust or even care for one another to allow each other to live. When it's inhumane is when you don't care about another human being. That's fine. If you don't care, you don't care. When it's even worse is when you try to do something negative to another human being. Period. Regardless of what you are. What I'm trying to get at is this. You would not want to Put like this, you wouldn't want to endure something as hard as you've inflicted upon somebody. In other words, you know how, how people say, I bash this guy's head in. Well, you wouldn't want anyone to bash your head in. That's the basic humanity I'm saying. It's like, if, if, if we don't care for each other, fine. But when you set out to harm somebody because you don't care for them, that's inhumane. And humanity is not based on this religion, that religion, him, her, this or that. Humanity is based on human beings. Human beings. I don't care what you do, how you live. Just don't care about me and how I live. But when it comes down to it, I don't want to see you dead or anything happen to you. And you better not want to see me dead or anything happen to me. Period. Basic humanity. When one group sets out to inflict upon another, that is not human behavior. Hey, who am I? Some million stereotypes popped out on me now. I'm making a video comment on an Islamic video. I'm not Islamic. I'm not going to say, ooh, hate on anybody. 
because they've shown me something in this video that I felt. But that don't mean I'm going to go jump his law. See, when humanity got twisted, it was when it became them, them, those guys, these people, this group of people, power, hunger. What? Greed, need, necessity. What turned men against men, against animals, against their own planet? What turned men inward against themselves? This video opened me up a little bit. And it opened my mind. I'm like, wow, that's, that's cold-blooded. There wasn't this under that. This, this didn't happen during this. These people were here until this people did that. And once again, it's the same cycle. If people stop trying to choose sides and just choose each other, then everything will be different. If I respected you for being you and what you believed and that was it and you respected me for the same, that would be great. But there are entities out there, well, they shouldn't exist. Why? You shouldn't exist then. We shouldn't exist. If one group of people don't deserve to be free, then the other people don't deserve to be free. And if nobody deserves to be free, then why are we suppressing everybody? Everybody suppresses everybody. And nobody is free. We got laws and rules and stipulations. Laws are fine. If they're not used to enslave people, rules are fine. If they're not used to intimidate and create an inferior people, and mental manipulation of the masses. For what? Why? Everything we do, how we live, makes no sense to me. It's just, for what? Why do we do what we do? For what? And it took a video with some powerful music and some words. It's not like this. Man, they did not spend $15 million to get this point across. And there's people spending billions of dollars to make sure none of us get our points across. I'd like to thank these people for making this video. This is a nice video, a very, very well crafted video. How you have the, the English and the, um, I don't even know what language that was. Because I'd sound like a racist if I said it was the Islamic language. It's Muslim. It's Muslim. It's disrespectful. This was a very beautiful video that made more sense to me than anything I've seen this month. And I like to say thank you. And I hope if I made any sense on this video. If anybody learned anything, then watch this video. You make up your own mind. You don't have to be uh, Islamic. You don't have to be a Muslim. Watch this video and read it. Read it. Just read it. And give your opinion. Because I just gave mine. You've been too. Damn, I thought I had to stop by.